Hello everybody, I'm Sonic Arrow, and I'm rolling right into the next recording. So, we're back with more Final Fantasy 1 on the PSP. The greatest and most broken game I could ever play. You can tell that we are still in the same recording session, because it's still Memory on Judgment Staff. And Flare. So, kaboom. And Astos is up this direction or whatever, and... Meow? Yeah. It's right here, cat. Please ignore the very large, uh, unsightly pimple. You can't even see that, jeez. So I guess it'll be really easy to ignore. But it, it's finals week, and I, I should be asleep. But I'm stupid, so I'm not. Because <laughs> I just I need to do this. This is, this is broken. Easy. Oops. Whoa. I guess that was an ogre and an ogre mage. Ogre brute. These things can hear the explosions happening, right? Why do they f why do they willingly attack? I mean that happens. Like sheesh. You'd think they'd get the hint. Odors, okay. Where is Astos actually situated? I don't know. There's a place down here, I know. Oh, he hello. Marsh Cave. Hello. Shadows. Now these things are count counted as undead, but do I really need Dia? Not really. That's Marsh Cave. What's it got? I don't know. At this point, I am not. I cannot be bothered. Hello. Ambushed. Do I look like I care? Oh, so you got three hits on me. Oh no, to, para to paralyze. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh, what am I gonna do? No longer paralyzed, but Jesus, that was annoying. Maybe I can be bothered. Great ooze. Can't remember what these things are weak to, but it does not matter. Flare is a non-elemental blast of magic. So... What else can I say? Other than... Boom. Green slime. Easy. Yeah, this is how broken the game can get. Like, this is great. Hello, what do we got in here? Oh. Ladder down. Oh, I remember this place. I got lost once. I got lost in here once. 
a tarantula and two black widows. Yeah. I didn't mention this in episode one, but the, the goal of this series is to be as OP as possible. Now that is technically a scripted square. Like, oh, I thought it was scripted. Some of them are. A broadsword? Some of them are scripted, just as empty. Some of them are, uh, some spaces in front of treasure chests are uh, scripted to be preset, so you can just abuse the hell out of that and just train, like, gain levels based solely on that space because usually they're pretty tough for the place they're in. So, you know, do with that information as you will. Just know that I am loving this. Hello, nothing in here. It's upstairs down. Hello. It's good that I'm gaining XP. Can't hold no more. Any more what? Can't hold no more, okay? So we can't hold any more what's, I don't know. Probably antidotes. Copper armlet, what does that do? Oh, right, it's a... Uh... It's a dagger. No, it is not. It's a crossier. Nope, not even once. Huh. Can't hold anymore. Cottage. Oh, that's lovely. That's not sarcasm, if you're wondering. That that is actually lovely. There's some rooms in this in these places that are just higher encounter rates. So like say this empty room. Can't hold anymore. Like this empty room. Like let's say instead of being like twenty percent, it's shot up to like fifty percent. Like over double the spawn rate of monsters. So basically what I'm finding out is that I need teleport. Because <sighs> Yeah, this is the place I got lost. Not this place. Um What was I saying? Uh, I was saying that um, I need teleport bad so I can warp myself out of this place or other dungeons like this. More green slime. That's you're not getting anywhere. I wonder if it's possible to... Do, well, actually, yes, it is. I was about to say, I wonder if it's possible if you can beat this game solely pacifist and... Yeah. Well, oh, wait, no. You can't kill anything other than bosses. Like, a semi-pacifist... No, you can't do a pacifist run, like flee from everything, because you gotta fight bosses to progress in the story. Sorry if this is boring. Like, I realize this is incredibly boring. <laughs> So I'll have a I'll have a series where I just become so OP like this one 
And then I'll do a normal playthrough. Where I actually pick... I actually pick my own party. Instead of using a D6. So this will just be a... Incredibly overpowered run through. Because like... Why would I give up... Kitty, kitty. Mom? I'm gonna leave these head... I'm gonna leave the headphones... Off. I'm giving myself... I'm, I'm stressing myself out. Because I think I hear... Either a cat or my name being called. And I'm just... I'm just not. It's just... Wonky effects of the uh, the game. Fira, absolutely on everybody. Actually, no. Dandara, Fokara. Hold, paralyze one photo. Photo? No. Uh. Nah. Time to go to the white magic shop across the river. Cura. Diara. Cannot be taught to either of those boys. Or. Okay, so heal. No blaze. Reduce fire damage by half. I guess cure is going on everybody. It's always good to have backup healers, but I just don't need them. That's my problem. I don't need them. You have to enter from the port also. Bam. So, I guess this run-through will be for more for the story. No, this run-through will be for the gameplay. We'll go through the story when I actually try. There's a ruined castle somewhere that I can go to. That is where we need to go. I can pass under the bridge. Yeah, Big Eyes is no joke. Like, he can gaze and paralyze you. Okay, up here is a good place to park. Let's go up this way. Hello. Oh, I didn't notice I... I didn't notice... I didn't notice how fast that battle was. Oh, I'm poisoned. this? Matoya's cave. This is where we need to go. Thump. Ouch! My eye! My eye! Thump. Ouch! Can't see a blessed thing without my crystal eye. Who could have stolen it from me? And we can talk to these brooms. Frontwards, backwards, any way you see such a strange spell to swish, swish, swish. To swish, swishery. To class not a facade. But that means dash button select. Because read it backwards. And that gives us a map. Now, where am I going? I think I know where I'm going. Just obliterating entire nations of of goblins. Because they're not smart enough to know, hey, I shouldn't mess we shouldn't mess with these guys. They got explosions. So 
I want to go back. Where do I want to go? Notorious Cave. Chaos Shrine, Marsh Cave. Notorious Cave. Earth Gift Shrine. Same thing, explosions on land. Word has to travel with the speed I'm going. Right? You'd think so. Just boom. Wait, no, I need the, uh, the canoe. Go back to the Elven Kingdom. See what I need to do there. Like, actually talk to the royals. Guess I'm defending. something? What? It's, it's something. Astos. Princess slept under Astos' curse for five years now. Some medicine provides the sleeping, but where? M Matoya the witch. We have to get her crystal eye back. Dwarves live in a cave on the western edge of the Aldean Sea. They're a friendly bunch. Well. Huh. Right, we need to go see the dwarves. We're just gaining gill left and right. I need the canoe! No, I'm not speeding up the, uh, the battles. Those are actual real time, because, look, it's spit up, and I'm still talking normal. It's not a, it's not an editing thing, that's a, that's a, I'm using an emulator thing. Ah, hello! I don't know why. But I'm feeling compelled to heal. Save. And then go in. To the Western Keep. This is where Astos is. I was tricked by Astos, king of the Dark Elves, and now my castle has fallen into ruin. I'm lucky to retrieve the crown from the Marsh Cave. I'll be able to restore my castle. Might you bring me the crown? We have to go to the Marsh Cave. That was Astos, by the way. He's just, he's lying. The crown from the Marsh Cave. Found by the Mystic Key, okay. Oh, if I had a thief, I could pick that. Yeah, no, these are these are real time.
Yeah, there's no way any of this is canon. Like, to the lore. Like, this is not faithful to the program whatsoever. <laughs> like, they are not this powerful this early. I swear to you, they're not. Dagger. Huh. And I guess it's good for, like, a black mage in a normal run. Gil, okay. This is a long breadstick. This is a long breadstick. Give me a breadstick, man. Carl, please feed me a breadstick. I'm having delusions of grandeur about some man named Carl being a chill dude and feed me a breadstick. I'm having delusions of grandeur trying to find my way inside this, this maze of madness. I am, I am so bored right now because I'm so powerful. Like, it's crazy how powerful I am. Like, jeez. I'm in the wrong place. I have a feeling I am in the wrong place. Ah, hello. Huh? Somebody sneeze? Hello. Paralyzed. No, I didn't notice. I went by so fast that I didn't have time to register. Hello. My god, I'm having... No luck finding those stairs. They're down here, I'm pretty sure. Right? Right? Nah, wrong. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong times three. Wrong across the board. Like, Jesus. I have a feeling Carl would... would breathe real heavy on you after a, after a walk. Like, he would... He, like, basically, if he was standing behind you in line... After a morning jog, he would not be just... You're, you would be experiencing a draft in a sealed room. like, And it's not just like a cool cool spring breeze either. It is a... It is a... It is a fucking wet marsh haze on the back of your neck. Because you ain't moving and nobody else is is noticing. You can't complain because it makes you look like an asshole... You know, the guy behind you. Even though he is literally humidifying the air around you, acting like your own personal humidifier, even though you just met the guy. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Carl, get the fuck away from my neck, you heavy-breathed motherfucker. It has only been... How long has it been? It has only been 23 minutes, and I'm finally losing my mind. Oh my god, I'm finally going crazy. Oh, who am I kidding? Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, would not recommend it. It's like the zipper at a carnival. Giant thing that spins the cages. <gasps> the big cage uh, carnival ride. Blood bones? Carl, God damn it! Keep your blood bones out of my way, otherwise it is going to get judgment staffed. Carl, I swear to God. Your humidifier type beat breathing is not gonna fucking make this any easier. God damn it, Carl! Keep your green ooze out of my way. Like, either you can't hold any more. What is it? Carl, I swear to God. Either leash up your green ooze. Oh, now it's gray ooze? Okay, green slime. Gray ooze. Like, god damn it, man. Keep your science projects in the fucking laboratory. Jesus, get your dogs. Mr. Key. Oh, lovely. Get your dogs on a leash, brother. Can't hold any more. Carl, what are these things? Ugh. Hello? Huh? I was hit eight times by something. 
Is that true? Might be true. Hello. Now that is a scripted space. The Pisca Demon can be encountered multiple times. See? It's just anywhere from one to four. Maybe one to... There's three. Four. I swear I've encountered five before. God damn it, Carl. We have the crown. Suck at my dick, Carl. Thought you could keep your... I should keep your crown from me. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I beg to differ. I have lost count of what I am doing. What am I doing? Like, this is a humidifier type beat on my neck. Like, god damn it. Chest is empty. Uh, yeah, you think? Jeez, I gained. I've gained levels. Dropping some fat humidifier beats. I'm having delusions of grandeur. The time I met a man named Carl walking down the street. He was going for a run. Then we got in line at the to get a couple of tacos, you know? Because it was Taco Tuesday. There was a special at the at the taco truck that would buy one, get one for a dollar, and all tacos half-priced deal on top of that. Ooh, God, it was going to be a good day, but Carl was behind me, and I should have let him go first, because he was panting, because he had just been on a run. He was, he was breathing on my neck, like, it was, it was, it was, like, I was, my, my, my neck was getting breezed, brother. Like, it was a cool spring breeze, sometimes warm summer, but it was not like dry, it was not like a dry heat, it was marshland fog type type wind, like god damn, there was so much water in it, you could put it in a glass purify it with a charcoal filter, give it to your cats when on a hot day when they are thirsty like god damn, Carl ever heard of turn to the, turning your head to the side to breathe? breathe Turn your head into the wind and let the incoming wind be what fuels your breath. What am I doing? I, I completely disassociated. What am I doing? I'm going to the Western Keep to kick the king's ass or something. Am I licking the king's ass to get in his favor? Oh! Pools flow right into my trap. I am Astos, king of the Dark Elves. Dunk. Ah, my leg. My leg! With the combined power of the crown hold and the crystal I already possess, I'll become the true elf king. It is useless to resist me. I can take what is mine by sheer force. God damn it, Carl! Taking the crystal eye... Oh, right. Magic. Uh... What am I doing? Death. Oh, it knocked me out. <laughs> I gained the crystal eye. Oh, God. Yep, I obtained the crystal eye. Alright, I am items. Phoenix down McGee. Well, this beat goes kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? Kind of shit you find in a horror game about 90s pop. Where am I? Have we established where I am? Or just that I am feeling wind from, like, wet, humid, humid type, type fucking, I don't know anymore. Carl, get the fuck off my neck. I'll sock the shit out of you, bro. Boom, I win. Oh, hello. Uh. 
<laughs> nope. I want my uh, ship. Boom. I want to go back to see Matoya. Because she's a nice old lady. I bet she has cookies. I hope they're chocolate chip and not oatmeal raisin. I hate when I hate that you can't tell the difference. Like, like on a plate, like you want to pull an epic prank on some kids on Halloween, make cookies, make half of them chocolate chip, half of them oatmeal raisin, and fucking mix them together so kids never know what they're getting. I got oatmeal raisin. I got chocolate chip. I got chocolate chip. I got chocolate chip. You sure you got oatmeal raisin, man? Because I got chocolate chip too. Make them think their one friend is finally going nuts. While you silently laugh behind your door. What did I get? Echo Grass Cottage. A fantastic. Fantastic. I am getting items. Hello. Can you not hear the explosions? Hello, old lady. Is this my crystal? I give it here. Don't worry. I have something to change. Take this potion. Amazing potion. Jolt tonic. I can see. I can see again. Lovely. Fantastic. This is important for the lore. This is necessary for the program, for Matoya to see, because now she can see that we are going to die. She can see our deaths, and if we bring her an ingot of orichalcum, she will tell us Exactly when and where we will die. It's lovely. And it will come true because the next, next battle we get into, it's going to be a level 99. Uh, like, say she... The, the level 99 monster with goaded equipment. And it's basically just a bad dream. Like, basically, we fall asleep in an inn and she just... Boom. Works her witch magic and makes it so we die in our sleep. Because when you die in your sleep, you die for real. Jolt on me, just when you need to try once. Your Highness, Your Highness. I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? You, you're the legendary warrior. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. So follow the legend has been told to me and my forefathers. It's time for me to pass on the Mystic Key to attract the Finally! Mystic Key! Thank God. Now we can go loot the... We can go loot the places that were locked by the Mystic Key. We can now be on Hoarders because we are... We can now be the crew of Hoarders because we are going to investigate what... Astos was hoarding. And laugh at him on live TV making millions of dollars and possibly stealing and selling some of this shit because he doesn't need it no more. Sounds so much like my cat. Hello. God damn it, Carl. I didn't want your missed breath on my neck again. I told you to go first because of this. Hello. A wraith? And it's just wraiths. A falchion? What is that? It's a sword. Can I equip it? Fantastic. This is crucial to the lore. A white robe. Invisra when used. Are you serious? That is not even remotely worth it. Mummies? Power staff. Steel gloves. What's here? Mummies. Steel gloves are... Something. They're not what I thought they were. We cannot use these. Nobody can use these. Great. I don't know what they are. This is critical to the lore. What else did I get? Belchin Power Staff. Fantastic. Power Staff. Fantastic. Maximilian. Suit of armor made of pure steel. Oh! 
attack goes up. Oh no. Uh that was the leather cap. See Nope. Judgment staff. Keep Excellent. Fantastic. This is fantastic. This is crucial to the lore. Maximilian. Oh, thank God. I forget. Mages can equip uh, rods like the power staff. Fantastic. Nope. Fantastic. Okay. This is critical to our analytics. I mean, look at us now. This is crucial information. Okay. Now we need to go here, sell off whatever dragon armor is worth. Nope. Sell, uh, power staff. Eh, dragon mail. Fantastic. Steel gloves. Nobody can use these. A falchion. Eh, lightning's towards the tip. <laughs> I mean, not even close to... Oops. Not even close to worth anything. Copper armlet is just sucks. Hammer, no longer necessary. Dagger, large knife, no. Um, power staff, keep. Because we can abuse the hell out of that. Leather cap, keep, just in case we're stupid. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. But, I mean, look at all that, all that gill. Like we are set for the next twelve years. We could just retire from this quest, live out our days in luxury, and bribe the monsters to go away. <laughs> Jolt tonic, mystic key. I want to go back to the marsh cave. Because we can get something. Why? Fantastic. Okay, how long have we been going? 38 minutes? Yeah, it's probably about time. Alright. Yep, so, awesome. Thank you very so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun. I'm going to bed now. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you for being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.